Ephesians chapter 2. This is one of my favorite passages in the whole Bible. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is a gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Word that sticks out almost most to me is the word work or works. And what is really incredible about this is that we are not saved by works. Praise the Lord, right? I wouldn't make the cut, right? We're not saved by works. None of us would make the cut. But since we're not saved by works, works still does have a part to play. And what is that part? It's after we are saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ that we are created for what? Good works. It's incredible. We, we don't come to Jesus because of our good works. We come to Jesus because we're sick and dying and sinners and enemies of God. We are broken. He makes us whole. We come to him. And then what does he do? He transforms us and he sends us back out to what? Do good works. But once we are changed, once we have his power behind us, then we can, we can actually do some good. Last verse, James chapter 2, verse 26 says this, For as the body apart from its spirit is dead, so also faith apart from works is dead. Church, we got to get to work. We got a lot of work to be done. There is this awesome, awesome message that we have, and I fear that too many of us are just keeping it to ourselves. I fear that too many of us are reading Ephesians chapter 2, and we hear, you are saved by grace through faith not a result of works, so that none of you will boast. And we're like, praise the Lord. And we just stop there. But there's more to the passage. We're created for good works. We're created to influence people. We are transformed. And so then everything we touch should also be transformed. You get what I'm saying there, right? We, we are transformed. So our, our relationships should be transformed. We are transformed. We are new so our, our marriages, our families should be transformed. We are transformed. We are new. So the, the way that we think should be different. We are transformed. We are made new. So that the people that we hang out with, the people that we spend time with, they should understand that there's a difference. And that sort of relationship that we have should be transformed as well. You follow me with this one? There's work to be done. When James says faith apart from works is dead, he's not saying that you have to have works in order to have faith. He's saying that you have faith. And so therefore, you should have this good work that Jesus is able to do through you. It's, it's this awesome, beautiful picture. It's the gospel. This awesome thing is, can you imagine? Just, we were dirty. We were sick. We're, we, were, we were dead. He made us alive. Who are we to walk around this world saying, I'm alive. Look at all you dead people. Come on. He, he created us. He transformed us for a reason. We're here on this earth for a reason. And like my awesome sister says on her 90th birthday, you know what I want? I want people to know Jesus. Come on, church. That's what we got to be doing. We can't be sitting here. We can't settle for just having country club get-togethers. You got to get beyond the walls. 